If you have existing files on your computer that you want to link to your website or customize units in CCAP, you'll need to store those files on the web using your Jeffco Google Drive account. When you move these files to your Google Drive, you have the option to convert them to a Google Docs format or leave them in their original format. Editing your files is easier if you convert them, however, converting won't work for every type of file. Before we begin uploading, let's check out the upload settings. Use the gear box in the upper right and select Upload Settings. I recommend putting a check mark in front of the Confirm Settings before each upload, so you always have the option to convert or not to convert your files. To upload a file, simply use the red Upload button on your Google Drive homepage, choose Files or Folder, and browse to where the file lives on your computer. Choose your upload settings and select Start Upload. You can upload an entire folder to Google, which is very convenient if you're moving several files at once. But if you use this method, you can't choose whether or not to convert files individually. Whether you convert or not, the action will apply to everything you upload in that folder. My PowerPoint file is uploaded and has been converted, which I can tell by the icon which is different from the PowerPoint file I uploaded and chose not to convert. When I open my converted file, I can see that Google did a great job with the conversion. My presentation now lives online. I can share it and link it to a website. And if I need to make a quick change, it's instantly updated for everyone who has that link. PowerPoint files typically convert beautifully to Google Slides or Google Presentations. And if you convert to a Google Presentation, you only have one online version to manage. Any updates you make are instantly viewable to everyone you've shared the item with. If I accidentally uploaded a file and forgot to have Google convert it, I can put a check mark by the item and use the More button to open with Google Docs, or in this case, Google Slides. This will make a second converted version of my file and I can delete or keep the original PowerPoint file. While Google converts PowerPoint files really well, right now some of the formatting in Word Docs does not convert quite so smoothly. For documents with mostly text, converting to a Google Doc will work great. But if a document has a lot of tables or special formatting, you might want to upload it in PDF or Word format and not convert it. Let's look at an example. Here's a Word document I downloaded from CDE that has a flowchart created with text boxes and shapes and a table with special formatting. I've already uploaded this file to my Google Drive account twice. One time I asked Google to convert it and one time I didn't. The converted Google Doc has a table, but the cell spacing is off. Also, my entire page of the flowchart, text and shapes didn't convert at all. Let's look at the Word version that I did not convert when I uploaded it. In this version, the table looks great, but the flowchart still does not look like the original. This is really only a web viewing issue though, because if I download this file from Google Drive using the file download option, it looks just like the original. Keeping this document in my Google Drive as a Word doc is a perfect option if I want to share a Word file with others that they can download and edit. If it's really important that this version views correctly online, I need to take one more step. If I go back to Word and when I'm saving my file, change the file type to a PDF, I can then take that to Google Drive and upload it as a PDF and not convert it. And if I click the link for this uploaded PDF version of the file, it will display perfectly online. Just keep in mind though that others can't edit PDF versions. They're pretty much view only. If you are sharing this and want to keep it editable, store it online in Word format. I try to convert my Word and PowerPoint files to Google formats as often as possible since this saves my storage space and makes it easier for me to instantly edit and share my items. I can adjust the sharing settings to allow others to simply view the item or collaboratively edit with me. And this collaborative editing is only an option if your files have been created in or converted to Google Docs formats. Also remember, you can upload any sort of file for storage and sharing in your Google Drive account. Here's a video file I've uploaded that I can share with others through my drive, and I can also do the same with image files. I can upload smart notebook files and share them with anyone. Others will need to download the files to view them, but this is a great way to transport and share any type of file without the need of a flash drive. Think of Google as your flash drive in the cloud where you can create documents, presentations, and spreadsheets. 
convert existing similar files, or store any type of file in its original format.